All right, ladies and gentlemen, Timothy W. Corbett. suppressed by society, your creativity, and your self-esteem. <laughs> Many years ago, while I was warming up a slice of sausage pizza, the earth went through the tail of a comet, and my magnetron in my microwave short-circuited and shot me full of gamma rays. And because of that, I am able to see the evil that society does to children and be able to figure out how to stop them. Wait a minute. I smell something. Over there! Oh, it's Big Mama Media. She is showing the false image for the children, saying that you have to look this way weigh this much, and be so pretty. Oh, my lord. Oh, a little girl is very sad because of Big Mama Media. She's looking at those silly magazines and all the TV. How can I stop her? Let me find out with my powers. Perfect. Little girl, little girl, listen to me. You are so beautiful <laughs> to me. Can't you see? You're everything your parents hope for and everything they need. You are so beautiful to Oh yeah, look at her, and Mama Media is walking away. And that little girl is looking in the mirror, and she's smiling. Oh! <gasps> Wait a minute. Over there. Do you see? <gasps> it is the school council bully. How dare he? He is trying to cut art and music and physics. Why? Why must you do that, school council bully? I will find you. Use me! Not yet. <laughs> Sorry. What shall I do? No. Oh, that is perfect. Let me go to my box of wonder. And pull up my little box of wonder. <laughs> He's 
younger than he is, and he calls in little girls and little boys and tries to meet them at Starbucks. What am I going to use against him? <laughs> no. Not him. Don't make me. I guess I'm going to have to bring him out. You see, boys and girls, before I became Captain Uncle, I was diagnosed as a manic bipolar. <laughs> and they put me on medicine, and the medicine made me feel really bad. So once I got my gamma powers, I decided that the best thing to do is personify those feelings. And those feelings went into Larry. <laughs> Hello, Larry. Hello. <laughs> Larry, I need your help. What is it, Uncle? Well, it's the stalker. The who? The stalker. You know the stalker? He's on the internet. So? Well, let me explain to you. Excuse me, boys and girls. <laughs> Well, he goes on the internet. So? Well, he does this, and, and then he decides to go to the coffee shops. Really? So? I don't see any problem with that. Well, then he decides to do this. <laughs> you might want to close your ears, boys and girls. <laughs> You goddamn motherfucker! How dare you do that? I'm gonna come over there and rip your head off and shit down your neck! And then I'm gonna tear out your eyes and fuck you with a dead monkey! How dare you! I hope to God when you're in prison, you end up with a goddamn skinhead with the biggest cock in the world! And he rips your cross thing in half! I'm gonna come there and rip your hair! One by one, you're cock sucking, motherfucking, god damn it, son of a bitch, cunt! Wow. <laughs> he blew up. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's do that again. No, 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 Larry, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, come on! There's gotta be others who, 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 who you use their, their judgment against those who are creative. I gotta find... Wait a minute. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> In a few minutes, you can do that. <laughs> Boys and girls, I really need a nap. <laughs> and I, I'd like to thank you for coming out. And I'd like to thank you for being here. And I'd also like to thank you for being yourselves. So whenever you really feel bad and society is getting you down and you don't feel you're worth it, remember. And uncle is here for you. And isn't that the way the world should be? Yay! <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy.